Well, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to a game that is not Final Fantasy XIV. Um, it's also the first upload of mine in quite a while, besides Final Fantasy XIV. Um, this isn't going to be like a playthrough or anything of the game. This is Bushido Blade, for those of you that can't read. And we're going to be doing just point of view mode. I haven't actually played this yet. It's been quite a long time since I've played this. I just randomly booted up a game in order to do a channel update here with kind of let you guys know what's going on or what isn't going on with the channel um, since I haven't actually been really, again, uploading anything um... basically I'm taking a break from Let's Playing if you haven't been able to tell I don't really feel like messing with a bunch of video settings and editing and encoding and going through a huge hassle of getting a, a game running. Like, hell, even loading up Bushido Blade here took me about five minutes of fiddling with the controls and keybinds and emulator settings. And granted, I didn't have to do this game, but it's just a small taste of what it's like going through some of these games. Especially some of the games, the three games that I still have left to record, and I had left to record for like a, probably a almost two years now, maybe going on three, and the first reward in the rewarders. Um, the only reward in the rewarders thing I've done and ever will do. I have Free Space 2, which I haven't decided if I'm going to do Free Space 2 or the Babylon 5 Total Conversion project that was released for it. I haven't played that because there is quite frankly too many damn controls and buttons for me to learn. Same thing with Deep Gold. I have booted up both of those games. I've done multiple test sessions to record them um, and to try and learn the controls. And I just don't think it's an engrossing and good experience yet because I, I suck at them. And I don't want to do three hours of just nonstop, okay, let's look at the button guide here and blah, 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 to try and make my way through the game. Eventually they will be coming. Um, other than not wanting to mess with all different types of button configs and learning which keys do what and video settings and all that stuff, I just haven't wanted to deal with anything after work. Work has been kicking my ass for the past basically year now. Um, I took a promotion because I wanted more pay, wanted more responsibility, I wanted a bigger challenge. I was kind of bored with my position. I had done it before whenever I was hired into it and I wanted to just basically move up. Why not? I'm 30. I was 30 at the time. I was about to be 30. I'm 31 now. So I figured it was time to do something. Um, and I like the position. It's fun. It's challenging. Um, but it kicks my ass. Whenever I come home, I don't have the creative whatever uh, mojo to record like I want to record. I'll load up a game, finally get everything, all the settings happy. Press record. And after a few minutes, sometimes after a full 30 minutes, I just look at the footage and just delete it instantly. Don't like it. Not up to my personal standards for what um, I want my recordings to be like. And maybe I shouldn't worry about my recordings at all. Maybe I should just record it, encode it, upload it, and say to hell with it. But um, if I'm not happy with it, I don't really care what you guys think of it. So. There's been a lot of thrown away footage over the past couple months, in fact over the past year. Um, games that I've played through, halfway, couple hours, I've thrown at least one full Let's Play away just because I was not happy with it. And it finally reached a point this year where I was throwing almost everything away, and it's time for a break. Um, that's pretty much the main thing plaguing probably my recording abilities right now. and. As far as I can tell, probably will be for quite some time, probably a few more months at the very least. Um, there will be more Final Fantasy XIV on the way, whether you like it or not. Uh, that one is fairly fun and easy for me to record. It's a mindless, mostly mindless social activity that I can do after work for a couple hours and just unwind. It's not like going through Dwarf Fortress where I have to actually sink into the world with all of my energy in order to comprehend what's going on and pull stories out of it. The game does it itself, um, Final Fantasy XIV. It's all visual, don't have to interpret anything, and it's 
uh, easy to sink into. <sighs> Who the hell do I even want to be here? I don't know any of these fighters. They probably all have different fighting styles. I wonder if this is like your Ryu character. Red Shadow, Tatsumi, I don't think so. Mikado and Black Lotus look to be... I don't know. I was gonna say Samurai Warriors, but then I saw this guy and he's definitely the most samurai out of all of them. This guy's just a... I think he's tattooed badass. And this is maybe a religious monk. How about we be... Good Sesame. Good Sesame. Just Sesame Seed. Susumi. Sisa Studio. And we will fight... Mikado. Why not? There was a slider down at the bottom. I don't know how to move that. We can choose our weapon. Naginata, a sledgehammer. I don't think so. Um, Longsword has probably got the most weight behind it, I would have to imagine, besides the sledgehammer. The Nadashi is pretty heavy, too, and it's got long reach. It would not be quick, though. Broadsword, 4.1, wow. I don't think we'll be needing that. Naganata. Naganata. I, I can't pronounce any of these the correct way that they're supposed to be pronounced. Um, this would give us considerable reach. Double that of the katana. Nadashi's good. You know what? Hell with it. I'm spending too much time thinking about this. It's not gonna matter. I have a feeling that POV, Pump of Vision mode here, is all first person and going to get me killed incredibly quickly. We'll fight the same weapon. Keep it balanced. And I don't really care for the arena. I do remember the arenas in this game having multiple levels and environmental hazards, things like that. Bamboo thicket, that should be a bummer. I think I remember being able to actually cut down the bamboo here. <sighs> I was talking about all the bullshit about recording and uploading. Why I don't want to, could you not? Until I at least learn my keys. I think I, I don't know if I sliced there or if I parried. Holy crap, I just got killed. That's my guy in the top right. Um, this is what happened. Apparently my slice didn't do anything and then she just can't... Maybe it disabled her arm. But she just came back and sliced my face in half. So yeah, we'll do a rematch. This is what I loved about this game as a kid, the various damage models. She left herself wide open, so I did the exact same thing she did to me. There we go. Now, these fights do not always go this quickly. They can be very long, drawn out, um, Slugfests. I'm just, I'm still trying to just learn my keys. Here. Yeah, I think she got my button there. Somewhere there's a block key. That's the run key. Okay. That's the roll key. Whatever. Just cut through your defenses. I do not see a way to actually hold my sword up in defense. Maybe if you parry at the right time. Like that little faint move I was doing. Because we can both start blocking each other's attacks. Um, that's where the fun comes from, but no. I do have this on hard mode, I'm pretty sure. Just quicker on the draw. You know what? Let's run around for a second. Question is, how do I get up there? Yeah, how are you doing that? Okay. That button. Now these little bamboo things, I'm pretty sure were one of the first like interactive type things I remember being able to cut down in a game with a sword weapon. It's not the button. That was not the button either. There we go. She'll do it if I won't. Get up. I wanted to try and stab her. You cheating wench. 
You threw a knife at me. We're both so wounded, I don't think we can stand up. Okay. And you'll throw dirt? Wow, it's on now. I was setting back, but... I will crawl up to you. I hope your guts bleed out. I left myself wide open with that attack. You're lucky I don't know my keys. You know what? I've got a dagger too. It's probably your dagger. I know that one wasn't. There we go. <sighs> Rest in peace. I'm still surprised you left yourself open to that face slash. That is how we have died each and every time, both of us, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. We'll do one more rematch and then maybe go to a different level or something. Choose a different character. Or maybe I'll just rant some more. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm done yet or not. Um, so I guess this only has the, this upper area. I remember some of the places being a lot larger than this. Up here and down there. Where are you at? Really? Right behind me, huh? Can... What did I... What did I do that for? That button switches my stance. I just found that out. I was like, hey, let's fight with our sword behind our head. That seems to be the best strategy. Let's go with it. Okay. However, I do want to do that because it has different attacks. And I would like to learn them. Even though it might just be a way for me to get my. Did you just slice my feet? Damn it. Well, let's just make sure you stay dead. I'm not sure how that first attack killed her. We'll find out. Okay, I guess right through both of her legs. N right at the knees. Wouldn't have been much good fighting us after that, would you? We'll speed that up. Uh, let's see. I think I'm done with point of view mode, even though it is fun. I, I don't know what slash mode is. Let's find out. Even though it's fun. I'll try something different. And I don't know how to actually move that. Can I move that slider down there? I'm going to be Black Lotus with a katana. Do I not get a choice in this? Is that what slash mode is? I tell you to go slash some people with a specific weapon. I'm a, oh no, it's like a side-scrolling fighter. Yeah, anyone else? Oh, it's non-stop survival mode. You guys are not very bright. That's gonna work in my to my advantage. Wait a second. You know what? Am I the guy from the Princess Bride? Didn't see that coming, did you? No, because most people would never use a fancy ballerina move like that in a sword fight. I like to imagine. And I don't heal between them. Get out of here. Off with your kidneys or whatever. I'm dead. I'm dead. Nope. Can I, can I do a chop whenever they're down? Something like that, but that one that actually connects with their body. There is no way he blocked that. Okay, and you are... What? No? Thought maybe it was just going to be a one-armed bandit there. Okay. How... How... How did you not kill me? sword but just glances off my skull. It's made of that inferior steel. Are you afraid? You've heard of my legacy, haven't you? See? That only would have connected. I changed my stance here. I only have legitimately one move at this point. It's this that will not hit them if they're on the ground. And then the slash. Look, this dude has no legs left. I have gensued them. All the way up to his hips by now. Good god. Are you wearing armor of some type? 
I think maybe if you slash a part of their body that's already been disabled, I guess it doesn't do any damage. <laughs> you cannot hurt that, which does not have a brain. Heads apparently not as weak as I thought they'd be either. Okay. Are you a boss or something? Just stay on the offensive. Can't stand, one of my arms is completely worthless. Eventually this will get so routine. I bet you can do it with one butt. No. So you guys are green. In fact, I just want to use just this butt. Because the other one doesn't kill them. Just disables them. Good go. I thought I was done over there. No, I took a blade to the chin. You know what, I can't just do it with one button, I think. This guy needs to disable quick. Except I can't get close enough, so fuck it. Oh boy! Which one of us is going to get lucky here? Apparently you are. It took them long enough. So this is one of those mini-games where, as a kid, I probably would have played it for hours and hours and hours. Until getting so far one time that I knew I would never beat it, so I would just never play it again. Versus mode is probably two-player mode. I can't imagine story mode actually being any good. But let's try it out. Sometimes that's where all the fun is, right? Still don't know what that slider at the bottom of the screen says. Hmm. We will be... I think somehow I changed their costumes, too. I remember they were all wearing something different, I think, in POV mode. Whatever. We're gonna be Gambit here. Cause I've always wanted to play a mutant. And... We've been using the Nodachi. It would kind of be in bad form, I think, to switch it up now. Because after I die here, get bored of this mode, I think I'm done with this video. So let's see if we can beat story mode. The Shokan Dojo of the Narukagami Shinto School is really a secret society of assassins no. called Kage. Kage? Everyone who knew that was sworn to secrecy and not allowed to leave the compound. Then how the fuck did but they ever do anything? broke the code of silence and escaped into the ruins of a deserted castle in search of the only way out through the castle tower. What? They escaped from their cult and ran to an abandoned castle. And now they search for a way out. What? So it was this venomous cursed blade you carry. If I do nothing, it's as if I'm waiting for him to kill me. Should I go after him? Or not? That's a good question. I have a feeling we're going to go after him, though. Because it would be mighty boring if we didn't. No. I think I'll stay home and have some sake. Oh, goody. This one's for real, so you've got a sledgehammer, huh? Come here. I'll even put my sword behind my back. Yeah, nice little psych out there that didn't actually do anything. Even though it connected. I wonder if I, it does any different attacks if I like press a different angle. Okay, that would have been supreme if you would have hit. I guess that counts as a block. I need to attack from the side, perhaps. What are you trying to do? Mirror my movements? Yeah, have fun with that, buddy. I was hoping it would show where I sliced his feet out from underneath him, but no. So Gambit buries Jubilee somewhere in a Russian forest. He continues his search for Magneto. 
Or does he? Okay, I guess we will. Hmm. You know, I don't know who trained you. Ow. Actually got me. Okay, that was bad. I was actually scared for a second. Whenever she knocked my sword. Can you stand up? You are no you are not a rolling dog. Wow. I'm proud of you, buddy. She was not having any of our bullshit. You're not a log. Get up off the ground. We're going back for more. There's actually gonna be a challenge here. Good god, why is my attack not working? Is it that slow? You know what, can we do a rematch? I feel like I cheated there. I won by sheer stu stupidity. Which I don't think should count. Yeah, and then you struck a pose. Rest in peace, my beautiful lotus. You were not meant to bloom in the winter. And so, Gambit continued on. And who are you? Well, Carmen San Diego. Oh! Gambit will not live long enough to tell the world her secret location. And that's why no one can ever find her because no one ever does. But we're going to. Come here, you. You know what? That was a little bit too slow. I wanted to kind of psych her out and then switch my stance. Is one of my arms injured? There we go. I was going to say, maybe it was because I was next to that mountain. Okay, now that was a pro move that I wish I knew how to replicate. I'm trying to back up. To be honest, I didn't even know you could jump. And I'm being exceptionally bad here. You're just nicking me. She's just playing with me is all she's doing. She knows it. Don't worry. Bring you to your knees and then execute you. Which is basically the only attack of mine that is actually useful. The only two. Go for the feet with the long blade. I'm sorry, Carmen. I'm sorry. So Gambit gives Carmen an unmarked burial. Mega Man, are you the last one? Wow. Gambit was speechless. Didn't even know what to say. I said he was speechless. So much build up, so much disappointment. I was going to say don't jump down that hole. He jumps into the sewers. What is he in search of? I've heard rumors of turtles down here. He runs into a pirate instead. Okay, if, if I would have swung my sword like I wanted to while he was climbing up there, that would have been the ultimate cheapskate win. I would not have felt bad about it at all. You know what? I'm not even going to move. I was hoping to get him with one swipe. Just one little swipe. Okay, I have to... I have to move whenever you are running behind me, you coward. So says the man who is chopping a man's feet out from underneath him before he can stand up. You, you can't get up here, can you? Your whole life's a lie now, isn't it? Yeah, I would try to do a falling lunge attack on him if I thought I could successfully pull it off. But I was not going to suicide myself because we're going to see this story through. We bash his brains in with the hilt of our sword. We don't even need the blade. 
This is tearing us apart. That is an awesome line. Uh, I was hoping he wouldn't say that second part, because the whole this is tearing us apart was grand enough. Hey. You cheat, Haxer. Are you... Are you serious, game? Is the sword quicker than the gun? Find out tonight. On Plump TV. As we cut his dick off. You're dead. <laughs> He's like, are you serious? You are... No. I'm not even going to play your game. You cheater. You cut my dick off. It's not even in the rules. Neither is a gun. It is cowardly using a gun. One may follow a damned path, but this is not the way of Narukagami. Kanaga Yisai. Something like that. Please tell me that's not the end of his story mode. Maybe that's only like the halfway point. I'm disappointed, game. Did anything happen by beating that? I'm curious. What if you beat story mode with all of the characters? Hmm. Nope! And you know what? Once you're in the screen, you cannot back out. You are stuck. The PlayStation 1 did not actually know how to back out of a menu whenever it was designed. That is a feature that was added on in later consoles. I believe it was pioneered by the GameCube. Oh, come on. Please tell me they at least have a menu to back out. I have an emulator. I'm, yeah, it's an emulator. I could just press escape and then hit the reset button, but that is beyond the point. Okay, you can pause it. Nope. Oh, well. Anyways, this video is about done. Regardless, he gets double murderized. Um, yeah. What I said at the beginning of the video is basically my channel update. The rest is just regular old plump stuff. Sometimes I'm in this mood to record, sometimes I'm not. Uh, this morning, I was. Uh, hopefully that feeling of actually wanting to record returns over time. I don't know if it's just because I was burned out because I was recording so much for so long. I mean, I was recording, on average, probably 30 minutes a day for years. Two or three years before I ever really even took like, a week-long break, I think. And didn't upload anything. Um, this is basically my hopefully refresh and resting period where I'll come back just as energized as I was before. If not, then it's just it's a retirement that is slowly slowly coming on. Something that only time will tell. But I do find myself wanting to record every once in a while. Uh, I just don't ever think ever actually followed through with it recently because I think it's one of those things again where I'm also just hoping that if I don't if I don't do it, if I keep wanting to do it but don't do it, eventually I'll get that spark back too and I'll enjoy doing it more often again oh. I really don't like channel updates if you all haven't noticed how did that not kill you? I saw blood and you were doing your fancy ninja top of the screen flips that didn't do you any good at all. So far, the only thing I've needed to get through here is the face stab. More or less. Notice I don't have any bandages on me yet. I wonder if I'll actually get any. I don't know. Did I get one every time I died? Come on. Okay. Enough talk. Let's get to slicing. Good job. I actually put up a fight this time. So yeah. Um I guess I'll see you guys later on. It'll probably be probably be a lot more Final Fantasy XIV before there is really anything else. Um I still plan to take at least another month, maybe even two or three off. Um just to rest. Just to recuperate. Come up with new ideas and try to break any old routines that I had built up over recording for so long.
which trust me, I had built up numerous routines that I was not very fond of, um, and it's gonna, it, the, they basically build up like muscle memory um, as I use them for video after video after video, and I need time to break those down. What? Maybe that means you did. I didn't get a, 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 an actual clear the first time. Maybe if you break certain unspoken rules, it ends your game, and that's how you get game over. Maybe I was dishonorable for attacking them before they could get their spiel off in the beginning. I don't know, and I don't care. See you guys later!